Okay, so now we are live with the lovely ZMF Atour. Um, these ones were provided to me by a friend, Jeremy. Thank you very much. I hope you're doing well, my man. Um, so they're in the picture right there. I took that snap for this uh, stream. So let's get into these things. Um, these are honestly uh, right off the bat. Well, actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. Got excited. Hello everyone in the chat, thanks for joining. <laughs> Andy, nice seeing you. Last Rhino, d -nail. Marius, what's going on? Uh, Otour, thank you. Uh -huh. uh, so these are, I believe, a base, the base wood Otour. Uh, Otour. Um, but the person that purchased them or bought them a while back uh, requested a dark stain or antique stain style. And so these are just fantastic looking um they they really really look good uh one of the one of the best uh, tours i've seen in person um really really beautiful set of uh headphones these um so right off the bat it's a zmf they're comfortable they're <laughs> lovely build quality uh hard uh, it's zmf you're not going wrong with these uh, as far as build and, and comfort and all that fun stuff you can do the uh, suede pad if you wanted you could do a pilot pad um, you could do all sorts of different things to get these to where you want um, I know you could probably even change out the hardware if you wanted to to be different colors uh, and pads of course you're gonna change everything depending on which pad you're using um, ZMS are really good at pad rolling the pads so <laughs> yeah what's up DB um, so yeah so we're this they're Fantastic. I believe these are the uh, tour pads that are on them currently. And yeah, these are tours. They look very similar to the. Yeah, a tour perforated because they're a little bit bigger. Um, so on the head, they look pretty good. Um, as far as headphones go, they're headphones. They go on the head. They don't look crazy. They look like headphones. So they're, they're great. Uh, love them. Uh, yeah, and uh, our coach, I'm actually going to be, I have the headphones I'm going to be comparing these to will be the lovely Verite Open. Reach, reach, reach. Um, the lovely, uh, so many headphone stands, uh, Verite Closed. And the lovely... Aeolus that I have on hand. So those are what we will be comparing today um, after I do a quick uh, kind of listen. I'm listening currently on the TTT, the Hugo TT2, TTT. That's <laughs> because I saw you, Titian. <laughs> Tishin. And, uh, uh, and got the T stuck in my head. Uh, so Cord TT2, I'm playing it into my ECP T4. Um, just because why not um, make sure that's all up and running um, <laughs> yeah hey Johnson um, yeah so yeah lovely 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 headphones um, very beautiful I've given them a, just a short listen when I first got them in for just a couple hours I haven't listened to them in a couple days so this will be a semi fresh listen because um, I have not listened to them in a while uh, and by a while, I mean a couple days. So take that for what it's worth. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, also, if you hear fans in the background, uh, had a bad weekend week. Uh, we had a water leak that basically had a waterfall on our downstairs. So we have uh, the wonderful uh, water damage repair people went through and tore all of our bathrooms up that were affected and have fans blowing in the background. So yeah, that's, that's, that's a fun week, let me tell you. Um, anyways, guys on, I have, uh, on my Cobas, this lovely track that I was recommended to try. I haven't listened to it yet, uh, DP, but, uh, Games of Fluck by Parcels. Um, so let's see. Ooh. Um, hey, what's up, Martin? What's going on? Chris, how do you fool? Mercs, thanks for joining everybody. Um, Man, this is you're right. This is a very very good track. Um, digging on it. Uh, I'm not familiar with this track, so 
Uh, getting a feel for it the first time hearing this track. It sounds very natural, effortless. Um, vocals are excellent. And, you know, the dynamics is really nice. Um, oh, congrats, Chris. The O's are fantastic. Um, the dynamics in this track are really cool. Or like, and then the um, the sound kind of goes. Through. The track itself seems a little bit closer in head. Uh, vocals are excellent. It's got really cool dynamic. I really like this dynamics in the background. And it's a. It sounds like an electric bass, maybe with a kick drum that I'm hearing that has this like really cool punchiness to it. It's not. Um, it's it's. It's dynamic punch, not like uh, the kind of punch you feel. Um, so something to keep in mind. Um, really like the vocals. It does feel like things are um, more center focused with these headphones of this track. Um, this track, this head, this headphone to me, it seems to be a little more mid focused on its uh, presentation. Like nothing's too bright, nothing's too low end. As, like, so that's that neutral, natural sound signature that a lot of people talk about with these. And it really, it seems, it's just like an effortless headphone. That's what these kind of remind me of. Like, it's just really nice presentation. Um, so let's, that, that was a great track, but actually, I should probably, I'm going to heart that because I'm going to listen to that again. Ink. There you go. A little heart right there. Uh -huh. um, all right, let's go to my playlist. Uh, let's go into one I know very, very intimately, The Signal in the Noise by GoGo -Go Penguin, my go-to track for, for testing these things and comparing. Um, so right off the bat, it has that really light piano, and then it just lingers and lingers, and then the drums kick in, and it's just very effortless. It, it, it these to me it has that punch still but once again it's not that like visceral punch i guess where it's that where you feel it um yeah <laughs> um it's god like I should, I should probably take my glasses off so i don't have any issues with seal that that i do um god like i i want i keep coming back to effortless like it's um effortless naturally effortless i would say that's um the sound i'm getting from these the details are there but i would it's and there it's just it's almost relaxing listening to these even with the other track which was a little slightly more upbeat it's just a really relaxing listen it's a it it, it has this weird um almost like there's parts of the the music that's slightly pulled back and then there's other parts that are layered forward and it it there's a really cool imaging going on and, and uh like the stage doesn't seem like super wide but i'm gonna headphones um and then the tone tonality is really good i really like the way the piano sounds it sounds really excellent um it doesn't linger quite as much as some of the other headphones on hand as i as from my collection it's uh it's, yeah it's Wow, like I'm, it's I'm gonna go back to like it really is a natural sounding headphone, and it's just easy to listen to. Um, I'm not getting hit with like this overwhelming detail or overwhelming anything. It's just very natural and effortless. <laughs> uh, like, and nothing seems out of place either. Like, uh, even though the bass, like I think if you or into bass, like really into bass, the, you'd probably want to elevate it a little bit with these. Like it's not as it's not like bass cannon. -y. It's very just like presenting it that it's there. <laughs> um, yeah, like I and that ooh, that piano lingers. It's very very excellent. Um, let me kick it up a little bit. And get to more dynamic stuff. Kick drums, splashes. Splashes are excellent. They 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 they, they linger just right. Um, I like it when they linger a little bit longer, but they, these, these are doing a really good job. And the kick drum is, it's just, it has that punch, but it's not like that, it's not slamming me or anything. So it's really cool. It's a very effort, like I'm, I'm going to probably get, use this word up too much, but it's effortless and it's very pleasing to listen to. Like it's instantly pleasing. 
it's yeah it's a very relaxing easy to listen to headphones so far let's kick it into something maybe not so maybe let's go for something a little more ac maybe we'll do actually let's do electronic we'll do uh a peggy gao track so it's a little more punchy has more dynamic punch in the beginning with electronic dj type music see i'm getting that punch and it's getting a little more punchy a little more slam to it but it's not it's still not like overwhelming um and it's it's and it it just sounds natural and easy i guess i don't know how to explain it like it's just a very easy listening headphone very i'm having it's even this like it's engaging without being like overwhelming like some headphones can be sometimes even ones i really enjoy yeah and just the music kicks in and it's just and the little the little details the imaging is is pretty decent the separation is probably not as good as some of the others um But it's, yeah, like, it's just, it's, it feels, yeah. Okay, immediate comparison to Aeolus. That, and that's probably fair. The Aeolus is the most um, uh, competitive with these um, as far as, but the Aeolus is warm. Uh, from I haven't listened to the Aeolus in a bit either, so this is going to be a good, quick back and forth real quick. Um, so, yeah, we'll switch to the Aeolus real quick. And you do a comparison with that, but I would say right off the bat, um, acoustic vocals, and if you're just easy listening, and even with the the Peggy, Peggy Gao, and I can imagine with some, I'll I'll do it later with the torture test myself, um, not for the headphones. Um, we'll do uh, the uh, wonderful give me chocolate because that's that's a now a requirement apparently for all my my streams and of impressions. Um, so let's get these guys going. And thank you, Pro Falcon. I am using your, or Elnick, your your cable here again for my, my alternate uses. Um, yeah. So I, with the with the Atour, it's definitely a like a natural, neutral, easy listening. It has like it. it I'm not finding it right now. I'm not. I'm not. If I was to try and give like a con to this thing, it would be that maybe it's not as uh, forward as I would like with like some or splashy maybe. But then you always really want splashy. It's actually like that's not really a con, <laughs> like, you know. Um, maybe some better. Like I would like maybe a little bit more detail. Um, yeah, I will try that. Um, let me do this real quick with the Aeolus. We'll do a quick comparison between the Aeolus and this. And this is my Aeolus. I have the suede perf pads. So that's just something to take into account because those will change the signature a little bit. Um, so we'll go into signal and the noise. Huh. It sounds a little more veiled with these right off the bat, like that first initial part, even here. It sounds slightly pulled back with the Aeolus. The Aeolus was, is a little bit pulled back. Like, I feel like I have to turn the volume up a little bit with the signal and the noise this first part. Um, that being said, the bass is I can, I'm, is a little more prevalent. Presence, sorry, a little more present. It's, it's warmer. Um, the piano sounds really good, but once again, wow. Um, so the, the Aeolus, which I love these, feels slightly pulled back like it's like a like these are you're more there like in and more for, like you're surrounded by it i guess a little bit more or you're more in the front row where these feel like maybe you're maybe a couple seats back um but as i'm listening i'm getting the feel of it a little bit better um I would say that these are warm. These are cleaner. They're very similar, but there's a layer of like uh, warmth to these. These are also very easy to listen to and laid back. I would say, dang, they're like very, very close as well. But these were more forward and, and, and a little bit easier to instantly get along with, like effortlessly get along with. Yeah, let me get a little forward here. I 
I'm, I'm picking up a little bit better splash as well with these, like on the, the cymbals and the hi-hats. And the, um, I want to say it's the, the detail is a little bit better with these. Like I'm getting a detail a little bit, I'm getting a little bit better detail. I'm picking up little things a little bit better. Um, and I want to say separation is slightly better a little, but yeah, it's interesting. Um, it's so funny how like each ZMF has such a unique character, even like the VO to VC, there's like a little bit of character to all of them, right? The splashes are good. Let's go to, um, pay, see here, these are shining, right? Instantly the bass kicks in and these are more punchy, more dynamic. I'm getting a little more visceral feel out of them. Um, and it'll splash a little bit. So I'd say like, yeah. And I'm feeling a little more forward a little bit with this. This this is this is probably more where these would shine. And they, they sound fantastic with the similar noise too. Vocals are okay. But see, I think the vocals are better on the, the tour as well. Just ever so much. Alright. Um, let's throw the tours on because that's the star of the show here. And then I'll eventually switch out to uh, um, the VC and the, or the VO and the VC. Um, yeah, yeah, that was, I wasn't expecting that to be honest, uh, with you guys. Let me pull this other song here. Uh, so, um, there it is. Perfect. All right. So Shamika by, uh, Fiona Apple. Oh yeah, right away, that sounds pretty fantastic. It's a little bit busy in the track. There's something weird going on in it where there's a little busy, but her voice is, like, intimate. You can hear, like, uh, it's... feels like I'm in a, uh... If you ever been to, like, a jazz lounge or something like a blues lounge, that's what this, this, the presentation, that's the feeling I'm getting from these. Um, <laughs> yeah, see, I think the difference is I think that Aeolus has slightly more detail, even with this track, even coming from this one, even though this is different. Um, I'm, I'm I think that's that adding to that neutral, natural, and like effortless, easy listening sound signature, but definitely the it's a little more mid forward. The and I think that mid forwardness is giving me that sense of like presence more, especially with vocals. Um, uh, question above, uh, better detail overall or more detail in this, I would say it's more detail in like certain sp in spaces. Like I would say like the, the vocals are, are on par, but there's certain spots in like the treble and then, then the bass where, um, I was just, it felt like I, it felt it's not the right word. I was hearing just a little bit more like image, like separation of like the, um, the way like the each hit of like the the kick drum for instance or like the strum of the bass guitar and then the hi hat splashes I just I felt like I was hearing slightly more detail with the Aeolus in those regions um, between the Aeolus and this and the Auteur. Um yeah we'll do um, God's Okay, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do Johnny Cash. I love Johnny Cash. Um, so yeah, I would say right off the like for me personally, these are just a, I I agree with most people saying oof. Yeah, these it's it's this weird it's weird man. Like I want to say it's almost it's not as um it has this intimacy. While at the same time, like, not in your face. Like, it's just, just really natural, effortless listen. Like, it's just easy to get along with. Even here, like, it, John, his voice is, it's there. And I'm getting little details off to the side, um, like the guitar plucks. And you hear the slide here, and then the other side over here. Like, really cool imaging and, and stage. But it's not, like, super wide. Well, none of the tracks level suit is super wide yet. But but it's, the imaging is good. It just seems like the, the detail is just not quite as good as the Aeolus was. Um, 
in the in the highs and the lows but the mids are like it feels like like the hit like it sounds like he's like definitely in front of the stage like he's he's there on the microphone and everything is layered behind him properly whereas sometimes with the other headphones it can be he it, it, it can be melded together a little bit more but these are definitely definitely more forward <laughs> mm, yeah that's great his voice the grain like it's there but without it being like that uh harsh or too grainy it's like the it's a natural it, it sounds it just sounds natural it's it's really good i'm really digging on this um all right so cool beans let's see here uh um yeah, that new Fiona Apple is really, really good. Um, let's see. Uh, with, would it be worth owning these with the Aeolus? Uh, that'd be tough, man, honestly. Unless you're like a real big ZMF fan, they are different. That's the thing. There, there's enough difference between the two to where you could you could justify it to some level. Um, but I... Th yeah, I mean, you could easily. I, I think I can't say no to that um, if you wanted to own the Aeolus and this. Um, but I would even say if, if I would say if you're looking for more of like that, um, like a neutral sound signature, you don't want too much bass, too much, you don't want any V shape. You want just kind of presentation just to be just there. Um, like, a, like natural neutral presentation. These would, I would go with these. If you want a little more V shape, I'd say go with the, um, Aeolus. Uh, that's how I would, that's, that would be my recommendation. If you want both, then yeah, I, I mean, eventually I plan on having all of the ZMS. But uh, that's a story for another day. Uh -huh. Let's see. Uh, let's see here. Worth okay, uh, so like a topic where which of the pilot pads do you prefer on the ZMF headphones? Um, you know, I actually, uh, so on my uh, Aeolus, I have the um, pilot pad. The suede ones, because these are suede suede. Um, and I put it on a different way. I put it over the leather band, so it's kind of a little bit difficult to get it on there. But once it's on there, it's nice and cushy. But if you have a bigger head, it could be problematic, because it will, like, you can see this. So um, with the pilot pad, with the bigger head, you can get, um, it might not fit. You might have to get an extended um, pins there. Um, let's see. More questions. Uh, versus the headphone, uh, Martin, um, actually put, uh, do I have the headphone out actually? Dang. I think I might have put that away in preps for it to go out. Um, sure, where did I? Um, anyways, uh, from recollection, headphone was wider, imaging was better, uh, the stage, sorry, was wider, imaging was, uh, better, intimacy, uh, I want to say these are just, honestly, like, it's a different being, a <laughs> different, like, being, different sound, um, profile. I would say these are just, I'm going to stick with the, these are just kind of that easy listening, effortless sound. Like, they just, and they present real. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh, and amp, I am using, oh, Amber Rubarth is fantastic with these, um, by the way, uh, Amar. Um, I have listened, that was one of the first tracks I listened to. I can, um, pull it up, but, uh, yeah, that is really, um, really, she's really good with it. Vocals especially shine with these, uh, acoustics, um, and that kind of thing. These was where these, for me personally, I really love, or what people would call like the classic audiophile music. These shine, um, any folk music, any, um, uh, acoustic singing, uh, any orchestral jazz, blues, um, symphonies that kind of stuff these really do sound fantastic all those things and even electronic music sounds really good uh, or new age music hip-hop that kind of stuff um it's just so i mean usually with those types of music you want to have a little more slam or bass and, and that's what people are listening to that for so um these definitely these feel more like a reverse v a little bit to me um where the mids are the the, the star of the show especially like the vocal range and the the um that kind of realm um
And yeah, so uh, DAC Camp, I'm using the TT2, uh, Hugo TT2 is the DAC, and I'm using an ECP T4. Uh, it's a tube hybrid, so it's I'm getting a little bit of tubiness out of it. Um, and I really like the way it pairs with these. So any tube hybrid will pair really well with an EZMF. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm using right now. Uh, uh, I wonder if you could do a quick version on running them out of the TT2 amp directly for a second. Yeah, let me go get the, uh, I need to go with the adapter. One second, I will try it direct out of, I need to switch to amp mode, so it's going to be as that lovely as you know. Um, amp mode, okay. Let me go get the adapter. I think I have one readily available, maybe, potentially. In here, I do. Um, yeah, so I, I, with these, I really just, I, I'm really impressed with how just effortless it is to just kind of chill with it and have a easy listening time with it. Um, yeah, lovely, lovely set of headphones. So now I'm in wait mode with the TT2 Hugo. So once that goes into normal, we'll switch and start using the TT2 Hugo as my my amp going forward. So this is uh, the TT2 in full amp DAC mode. Um, let me get down volume. Uh, go back to. Uh, Yeah, it's sometimes a tough wait to wait for your your ZMS just because you every, your anticipation builds. I think it's kind of like Christmas a little bit, right? Like it's like, oh, it's coming eventually. I gotta go wait. <laughs> uh, yeah, hopefully it comes in bitter buffalo sooner than than later. Um, uh, just HE6 blown away. Have you heard these? Uh, I heard the HE6 SE briefly. Um, I'm hoping to borrow a friend's um, and give it a listen and, 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 and kind of thing later on. Um, <laughs> is this the same? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> uh, LCD X, LCD CX, XC. Uh, They're totally, yeah, I've heard a lot of, I've only heard them briefly, those ones, the X, um, XCs, the closed back LCD Xs. Um, yeah, those are, especially if you like to um, EQ, those are really good. Uh, I thought Celeste or Celeste were my end game. Yep. Uh, All right, let's try that. While we're listening, I'll give a little impression. Um, uh, let's see here. I'm not sure which one to pick, so I'm picking the top one. This is Tokyo or White Lies Tokyo. Oops, did I have this plugged in right? Oh, volume. Probably help. Um, electronic, audio, vocals, audio, vocals. Yeah, very cool. Easy. The vocals are very, um, not aggressive, but they're um, more intense. Wow, the bass kicks in really nice. That's a cool track. Definitely a cool track. Uh, reminds me of, like, kind of 80s music a little bit. Um... Yeah, <laughs> this hobby is very expensive. There you go. Um, wow, this is the the bass is really cool with this track, um, but it still has that. It's like it's it's punchy without being like visceral or overwhelming. The vocals are definitely a star. You got the tambourine in the background. And you can tell like it's behind the singer, and the see this is where that um, like the layering it in in the separation. You get a little bit blurred a little bit with these, uh, especially on uh, busy tracks. And this is slightly busy. Um, there's a lot of noise coming at you at once. Um, so it's something to think and think about. But it's it's handling it well. It's just it's just the way it layers it. It it presents this really just it's engaging without being overwhelming. And the vocal yeah vocals are really this. I, I, the biggest takeaway is that the vocals are probably my favorite thing about these. Like it definitely puts the 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 spotlight on the on the singers. Uh, See, so yeah, hopefully, I'm not going too far back here. Uh, let's see here. 
I got the Illus because I listen to a lot of modern pop. Don't really need something. Yeah, and that's the other thing too. Like it, these are definitely more vocal forward and and acoustic. Like I really like them. That's for me. I mean, I'm sure plenty of people will like what they're saying. And even with that, like this is more of a pop '80s poppy song. Um, it did get a little bit busy with that, and and uh, and as far as like keeping up with that that speed or busyness of the uh, separation of the different instruments and and notes and stuff it can get a little bit blurred it felt like to me but not horribly um it was still easy listening it was still pretty pretty enjoyable um aeolus uh wait where am i at <laughs> uh icon uh, i haven't heard the icon in a while i'm hoping to get another one in for a little bit later on but the last time i heard the icon was gosh uh prior prior to the pandemic so <laughs> it's been a while um yeah i don't know i would say but in my records the icon was that it was more of the bassy it was like the bass focus we're like so if you were to put them into different realms right like this would be the the mids forward the icon to me was a little more of the bass focused or low end focused um uh aeolus kind of splits a little bit of the difference and then you got um the Atticus is another one that would be pretty good. Um, then the, you have the VO and VC. Um, you guys really, just, I mean, they're all different. That's the thing's crazy. And then you got the different um, pads to roll with, and you can get different flavors. Um, but so far with these, I'd say they're, like I said, just that mid, that not mids, but the vocal vocals are definitely the star for me. Um, and these sounded lovely off the Aeolus. Aeolus. They sound lovely off the Hugo TT2. Woo! Yes. Um, and let's see here. Aeolus or Save for Empyrean. I'm not a big fan of the Empyrean personally, but it is lovely. Um, it's definitely, I would say the Empyrean is definitely more bass forward and a little more easy listening um, to style. Um, you're, if to me, what you're paying for with the um, with it is if you, or if you like EDM a lot, I would say Empyrean is probably pretty good. Um, but I would, me personally, I would go with the Aeolus, but that's, I'm biased, so don't take, take, take that for what it is. Um, Empyrean was, was just fine. Uh, I thought mostly the comfort and design was fantastic, um, but I personally would probably go with Aeolus. Um, yeah, I'm with you there, uh, uh, you know, uh, like I, I, I bought the Aeolus and now I want all the ZMFs and I have now three <laughs> so um both head and auteur would be like a good, yeah i think so martin i think that the um it'd be kind of like pairing um hd 800 with the 650s or 600s would be like kind of level like whereas the head headphone would be like kind of like the hd 800 and the uh these would be more like the 650s or 600s just a much but scaled up because i think I, I prefer these over the 600 series and i prefer i well that it depends on your take but I, I do like the headphones um compared to the to the hg100s but the hg100s have a special place in my heart so i would probably take the hg100s over the headphones um but that's me personally i do think both are freaking fantastic headphones though um let's see yeah, and I've heard a lot about the ADX five thousand. I've been a lot of people have been trying to get me to get them, and I, I just have to figure out I need a loaner of some sort. Um, they're hard to get though. Um, uh, da, da, da. And then yeah, Aria. Those are I, I'm not a big fan of the Hyperman sound. I think they get a little bit treble hot for my personal take. Um, but they are fan. The, the most of the Hyphenmans tend to be pretty good regarding like their detail and image separation. And then the Aria has a really good stage as well. Um, I think I'd probably pick the headphone over the Aria, though, personally. Um, let's see. More detail directly from TT2 amp compared to the hybrid tube. Yeah, I would say there's definitely a little more detail. Let me go back. Sorry, I should probably listen to music. It's the thing about comparing music. and I'm Blah, blah, blah. And thanks, last round. Get me on track. It's a day. I'm having... Um, Oof, man, that first initial part of Go Go Penguin, man, like where that piano, it's just. Yeah, I would say. Um... 
and this is always going to be a thing. Sometimes with certain certain things, um, the detail got a little bit better just purely off the solid state on the Hugo TT2. It's just a little bit, though. It's not like massive change. Um, and it's mostly in the higher end. Uh, like I'm picking up the splash a little bit better with the cymbals and the drums. I'm picking up a little bit more, but it's not massive. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit better detail. Um, let's go to I think it's this one. This love by Clara. Clara, I pronounce her name horrible. This is a very vocal. This I think these. This is where these shine really well. It's something like this where it's an acoustic guitar, and it just it's a little bit of magic. This this track I think this one has a little more um, effervesc effervescence. Um, and then she the way she sings is really nice. Um, it has a and it has a nice little echo to the the space they're in. Um, Really, really lovely. And it has a little bit of that linger because of that echo. Yeah. Oof. Oof. Yeah. The uh her vocals when she starts singing is very, very nice. Alright. Sorry, I got lost in a little bit of the music here. We'll we'll let's do Verte opens then close comparison and then we will end it hopefully I have time yeah we got plenty of time so I'm trying to go a little bit fast I want to stay under an hour so I don't take up too much time um let's see here right so we'll do a quick comparison against the verite opens and then we'll do the closed um go from there so yeah let's crank these out actually what I can do is I can probably go get yeah, we'll just do this. That's what adapters are for. Um, sorry, cables everywhere. Cable management, not the easiest thing. Um, but yeah, fun stuff. I do think that the auteurs are really shining with the uh, the like this type of track. Let's try out this car one. <laughs> um. All right, we have it same volume. Ooh. Wow. Um this <laughs> these basically took that uh that this the sorry, it's hard to talk. This is it it just kind of hit me a little bit, but the uh the sorry I had to pause. Um get my brain to catch up with my words um the vocals were the same kind of presentation but just a little more um engaging uh and then the details were spiked way better um there was a little more um like presence there with the uh like the way the guitar you can hear the details of like the sliding um of the fingers and the plucks and then the linger, and then the way the echoes came in. Um, God, her her voice it gets. There's a little more. Um, God, what is that? I think it's the the. I'm just pick. There's just it's. It's very similar. Like it's a very similar presentation. It's just these ones are a little more. It's a little, this is more intimate. Maybe it's crazy. Like there's a little bit of there that's. It's just a push. It's like it's, it's like it's like these uh, turn to eleven with the mids. That's really cool. Um, I would, yeah, these are uh, these are the these are very similar to this the a tour, but with a little more. Um, uh, God, that's crazy. Um, a little more. Um, have presence. The only thing I really a lot of lost for words because it's really just it's it, these sound so close, but there's just this interesting presence in in the way it presents the the vocals with the VOs. It's like it, it literally just took these and put them on steroids. I was like, here you go, and the details and the in the in the stage is a little bit wider. Um, 
That was really cool to hear that. Let's go to something a little more noisy and not just an acoustic guitar and a singer. Um, let's do uh, Buddy Guy, Miss Ida B. Um, it's a little more kind of things. Wow, that yeah, that would that kind of threw me off a little bit. Sorry, <laughs> everyone. <laughs> um, it's so weird sometimes when you when you have a jump in and uh, performance where sometimes it just hits you a little bit. Um, not to say the the tours are bad. Like that's it's just these are so much performing at a higher level. Um, oof, man, the guitar just fantastic piano these these are these are fantastic um let me just go for a little bit and get his voice um god yeah it's so that to me after all the different headphones i've had it's like the vo and vc is basically like zmf swan slash swan song in the sense that he took everything he learned in creating these the aeolus the icons the the um uh the Atticus, um, et cetera, uh, and then was like, and these and the VC, like, <laughs> so I definitely see, like, there's, it's definitely, you can, they all have different qualities, and I would say, like, the, the thing that the Verite Opens and VCs do is they just kind of cram all those qualities into one headphone, <laughs> and, and tubes are definitely the way, for sure. All right, let me switch back to the uh, our tour before I get lost listening to the Verite Opens, and then I'll switch back to, and then I'll switch to the um, uh, my VCs. Um, one sec, I need to get these on the headphone stand. Um, God, that really threw me off my game a little bit. That jump, <laughs> it totally, my brain's now discombobulated. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I love. Piano is, I'm a big piano guy. I love piano. Um, all right, so back on the auteurs, uh, Miss Ida B, and then we'll switch to the uh, Verite Close. Oof, see? This, it really is, man. Like these, it's like the same presentation. It's, it's almost like it, the Verite Open is, it's the same presentation, but just turned to 11, man. It's just a different, these are just on another level. Like they're just, it's, 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 yeah craziness how good how good that is um but these honestly uh the auteurs though like i'm getting a very similar uh vocals the thing that's lacking is the the detail um the image separation a little bit of the stage is, is not as is great there um and the 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 low end is better on the the verity opens excuse me um But I can go back to this, and this is just easy, man. Like, it's just a natural, effortless listen. Like, even right now, like, him just jamming out. Like, it's just... I could close my eyes. If I had, like, a a, a nice, you know, cup of tea or hot coffee or, or whiskey or something like that, depending on the time of day, and just lean back and just... that These are, these are great. Effortless, engaging... Easy listening headphones. Um, all right, so let me. Oof, man, I'm gonna get lost listening to these now. Um, let me pause it and we'll do a quick. So I would say between the VO and, and these very similar mids uh, or vocals, I should say. Um, it's just that the vocals just had a little more presence, a little more engagement with the Verite opens. Um, the detail was much much better. Uh, the separation was better. Stage was a little bit better. Um, but overall, um, unless you're chasing, like these, these were pretty great. Oh, and the low end was definitely a little more punchy, a little more oomphy. You had a little more presence and, and emphasis there, a little more, um, I don't want to say visceralness to it, but there's a little more, like, kind of oomph to it, right? It made me go burr. <laughs> I'm joking. Don't, don't. Um, anyways, uh, now we are on. Verite closed. Uh, same. Same track, but Verite closed. And then we'll go back into listening to the uh, tour, do a final follow-up, and then I'll answer a bunch of questions and maybe do some other test tracks. Um, so, Verite closed. Oof. Oh, man. This is my home. This is... This is... Oof. This... 
Yeah, these. See, but here's the thing, though. Uh, the vocals are now pulled back. Like, it's not as... Uh, it's... It's weird, but it's these are definitely a little slightly more V-shaped when it comes to that. Like the the singer is now instead of being out in front of the band, he's actually much closer to, in line with the band, if that makes sense. Like pressed up against the drums, and and the guitar and and bass guitar or whoever else is there are sit and piano. They're all like in line with him. <laughs> yeah. But the detail and that linger and like there's just this and that the 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 punchiness of it. But and there's just some like a little bit of magic with the Verte clothes for me. Like the way that the reverb, I'm assuming it has to do with the reverb, it has to. Um, the way that that it does that is it just gives you this really cool like presentation that just it just for me it grabs me and pulls me in and lets me listen to. Uh, really enjoying it. That piano man and the guitar just. Whew, very nice. Um, so yeah, I would say a very similar thing to the VO with these is that um, these these are definitely taking it up to like an exponential next level. Um, kind of like uh, another once again showcase piece for ZMF in the sense that they they do a lot right. I would say if you want, um, the, but the I would say vocals personally are really good on these. They sound good. They just pulled back a little bit more. So if you're wind of vocals, I would say more of the Verite Open and the um, the Tour would be more of your style. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Uh, these are fantastic. Not the vocals are bad on these. They sound excellent. They just seem like they're a little bit pulled. They're not as in uh, present uh, in, in like in, as engaging as with the uh, Verite Opens and the um, and the a, a Tour. Otour, Otour, Otour. That Greek word that means that word in Greek. <laughs> um, let's see here. <laughs> let's see here. Let's go over some questions quick before I jump to the next tracks. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, white lies are so. Yeah, that was really cool. Um, uh, hey, what's up, Raz? Josh T, thank you for joining. Um, yeah, I hear the ADX five thousand is a pretty bright. Like it's very comparable to the HD eight hundred, from my understanding, but just a little more detail from my from what I understand. The things that I understand that I understanding. Um, let's see, it's harmonic Dine Zeus, more like a baby Aeolus or a baby Autour. Ooh. I would say that the dynamic it would be. Oh, that's tough. Because. I would say it's more of a baby Aeolus, um, but slightly more pulled back than the Aeolus was. Um, uh, so you never heard the headphones? Oh, wait, I got a giant air belief acoustic version for guitar, reverb decay. Yeah, that I I do John Mayer's belief. That's a really good one, especially. Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess I can throw it on while I'm chatting with you guys and answering questions. I'll throw on John Mayer. Um, so acoustic live Nokia theater is that the one? I think that's the one. Oh, just the acoustic version. Okay, acoustic version. Um, so let's see here. Ch -ch -ch -ch. I prefer headphones over Ari. <laughs> I I will say though, like heavy headphones, especially after a workout or something like that. Like I I'll, I'll feel like I'm getting pulled down sometimes, and it's rough. Um, LCD X did that for me. The headphones do it for me. Um, so like over a couple. Oof, Man, this is hard to talk with this going in the background. Um, it sounds excellent. Very excellent. Like, it's... God, these are just... They have that effortless, easy to listen to, and if they engage... There's, like, a little bit of magic engagement there, though. Like, uh, and I can't quite put my finger on it, but, like, there's this... Where you just want to listen. <laughs> like, I don't know. I can see getting lost for hours listening to music and drinking whiskey and being up till 1 in the morning going, oh, why am I up so late with these... Um, let's see here. And I mean, the Verite opens are very, I mean, all of the ZMFs are like that though. At the end of the day, it's really tough to, but these ones definitely have a little bit of the magic with the vocal stuff and the acoustics. There's the way it presents is just, there's really a really nice, really interesting. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyhow, uh, I'm sorry. 
Uh, tour is just way more comfy over the head. Yeah, tour is just way more comfy. Um, and and the, the 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 headphone though, Martin is God, that's that one's really hard to beat though. The headphone, like it's just that is a fan, especially if you have enough power to power it properly. That thing is really hard to beat for the price. Um, uh, yeah, 85X can be very unforgiving from my understanding as well. Um, as less, and I'm looking for a new open back headphone, that would be a nice compliment. Would you pick these over the Focal Clear? Oh. Um, these versus, well, there's the new Clear MG, so I haven't heard those yet, but the original Clears, uh, to me, like, I had the original Clears and the Aeolus, and I end up going with the Aeolus, and I end up selling my Clears, um... And trying to think like these the the clears would have a little bit more um let it be they'd be this because that's the focal thing is they, they don't have the biggest sound stage these are slightly bigger uh the clears will be faster um these i don't think they would have as much of a vocal um uh forwardness to them and these will pair really well with tubes or the focals it's you have to really fine fine tune your your tube pairing with that uh but yeah it's tough i'd say at the end of the day those are tough recommendations because all three of like all three of those in that range are really excellent headphones i love all and these now that i have heard these more intimately um even right now listening to them right now i would have a hard time picking between the three of them um i would all three are excellent um I, but i would say that if you want speed and detail and imaging, like or your main focus and maybe a little more punchiness in the dynamics, I would say the the clears or the Aeolus. If you want a little more warmth, um, and and a little in bass more, I'd maybe lean slightly towards the Aeolus over the the, the um, clears. If your focus is on, if you listen to mostly acoustic or vocal forward, or you really like vocals more than that's like your main thing you listen to, I'd say these. Um, yeah, that's probably where I'd go with that. That'd be how I'd describe that. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, that one listening with a female with, with oh man, fantastic with listening to female vocals with certain headphones and and just vocals in general sometimes. Um, all right, so that that was a really excellent track. Um, I, no, I do not have a Patreon <laughs> or similar. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it, uh, Smawa. Um, uh, I just do this for fun. It's a nice, fun thing to do on the side. I get access to certain headphones for uh, some of the work I do, so it's kind of fun to talk about those experiences that I have. That's, that's what this is, me talking about my experiences with headphones with uh, a lot of people from the forum and community, and I like chatting with everybody and trying to at least uh, partake or verbal diarrhea my, my <laughs> experience to the interwebs. <laughs> uh Excuse me. Uh, let's see here. And tubes are definitely the way, um, for sure. Uh, da, da, thank you for trying. Uh, hey, of course, man. That was a great track. I liked it. Um. Oh, there goes the dog. Uh, most tubes. Ba, 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 so, yep. Uh. So yeah. So last rhino. Great question. So if you um. If you can afford the the VO. I would I would say get the VO um, if it's something like rather than kind of like slow steps up um, if you can afford it and it's something that's it's 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 in your wheelhouse to afford or it's a worthwhile thing I would definitely say go with the the Verite opens over the auteurs just because you're getting a little more um, from it but that's yeah I mean that's it's a big jump in price though so be aware of that um, but yeah I would I would say the VO is definitely the better headphone um let's see here <laughs> yeah we all definitely need help <laughs> elnick what's up my man um hey, hey marcello what's going on brother um let's see here oh and also uh actually thanks that actually reminds me i need to set up i'm actually gonna do a stream this friday uh evening with marcello we're gonna kind of do a fun random chat maybe share our favorite tracks or something do something like that and then just chat with the community and have a good talk uh like a a little hi-fi after dark kind of style um this friday so i'll get that scheduled up here probably tonight and put it out 
Um, so I'll have Marcello as my guest. It'll be a really fun time because Marcello's my man. Let's see here. Um, I'm not even listening to music and I have these on my head. Let's, uh, let's get some music going. <laughs> um, actually, uh, let's see. This is, I'll do Gimme Chocolate while and see if I can answer questions while listening to Gimme Chocolate. Um, to the tote. I might as well get this over with, right? Uh, so Gimme Chocolate, Baby Metal. Uh, I'm still on solid state, not on tubes right now. Uh, TT2. Uh, actually, not bad. I think it melds it out a lot. Um, very cool. Uh, let's see. Which ones are better for rock and EDM, clear or tour? Ooh. I would probably say clear. Just because, like right now I'm listening to Baby Metal. This is... That's tough, actually. Because depending... This is actually not bad with these, actually. It, because it's more of that, to me, it has that more of that reverse V. It's not as, like, bad. But her voice is still a little bit on the... It's not piercing or anything like that. It's just, it's very... It's a, they have very piercing so, so, vocals. Um, but it's, as far as the rest of it, it's not as aggressive or... I'm probably talking super, super loud. Uh, let's go... Um, one of my favorite uh, finds of the past couple of years is Georgia Smith. Um, and so especially this Blue Note Reimagined uh, album, fantastic album. Um, but anyways, Rose Rouge, fantastic song. Uh, Georgia Smith, uh, I'm probably pronouncing her name horribly. Um, but yeah, another good find. Anyways. Um, yeah, so it'll be really fun getting Marcello on. It's always... It, we have we have very similar mentalities and thoughts on things, so it's always fun kind of bouncing ideas off each other. Um, God, man. So this starts really, like, kind of pulled back, this track, and then she starts singing right now, and it's more intimate, and she's, and it's, and then you get the, the drums, the percussion going, and there's just this tinkling that kind of sprinkles across. It's just fantastic. Really, really cool track. Um... Uh, <laughs> all right, Martin. Thanks for joining, brother. I know I don't want to get you in trouble, man. Thanks for jumping on, man. <laughs> um, honestly, so last Rhino, um, God, listening to between the VO and the and the auteur, the VO basically is everything that the auteur is, but then it adds all those extra parts to it too. Like, and then also has, but there's there's just this weird thing with the auteur that I did notice. Like where there's it's just this weird like I I can't quite put my finger on it but there's like a slight like like engagement like engagement magic I guess if that makes sense and I think it's just that the way it presents and the way it's just kind of just that effortless it just I feel like I'm kind of floating in the ever float in the ocean like a, in, in like a warm ocean or like in a warm sea or warm lake and you're just floating there and just kind of like just relaxing that's kind of how I feel about these it's just a very nice relaxing floating easy go in time um and then but then there's that but then at the same time you have this really great engagement with the the vocals it's it's really interesting it's a hard to put my finger on but it's um but the vo's do it it's just there's there's this slight more naturalness to uh the a tour i think or yeah i think that's supposed to be it like whereas the vo might because of the other added um capabilities and technicalities and the speed and the the detail and stuff it maybe it's losing maybe that's it because this these are so spotlighted on the vocals that that, that engagement with the vocals kind of gets lost a little bit by ever so much but i do think the vo is the better headphone um overall for sure and with vocals too i think i could see where one could go it one could go either way um but i would say that overall the the verite open is definitely the better one let's go um Let's do a, we'll do Billy Eilish bad guy and one some more questions. See, the bass is good here. It's just not that, like this should be this just pounding you with bass sound. And it's, it's just, it's doing it, but not in a way that's making me like overly distracted. Um, yeah, they have a T stream. That'd be good. Um, uh, you can have to ask him. I know that these were a special request, so I'm not sure if he's doing special requests anymore. Sorry, the question was, I wonder if Zach would do a antique finish or a dark stain finish. I'm not, you'd, the only answer I can give you is you can ask, but I don't know. I, I, 
I mean, you have to ask. The answer's always no until you ask, right? Um, yes. Um, universe, so next, I'm answering yes, like you guys can see the chat. I need to figure out how to get the chat superimposed, like, so you guys can see what I'm chatting about. Um, uh, would, let's see here, what was I answering? Um, do they have physical store in ZMF in Chicago? Um, they, I think... And they're in Chicago. I don't know if they have a physical store there. Um, usually, outside of the pandemic, um, they usually do a ZM Festivus every year. And I think they're going to try and go some places. But uh, they do – usually they have, like, a ZM Festivus where they'll get together and you can go hear all the headphones. And they'll have a bunch of other vendors and um, other headphone makers and other amp DAC makers and stuff like that there. It's a really cool event. Um, really bummed it didn't happen this year. Um, but hopefully soon. Um Let's see here. Um, and they might. They might open up their shop to be an in-shop, like, where you can come visit and listen. Um, but right now, I, I think that they're – because they just got their new um, their new space. So that could be a potential down the road. But I don't, I don't know. Um, that would be a good question to ask them. Maybe I can have them on and we can discuss it. Um, oh, phone's going off. Um, okay. Uh, let's see here. How would you create the technicalities of the clear – Okay, wait, sorry, go back up. Yeah, so hard. It really is. Um, uh, let's see here. Okay, uh, headphone amp out of the Cord TT2. I compare it to, it's actually pretty close to what the Fonitor X is. Um, there's a little bit, there's differences. Um, I find that the TT2 is good enough to where I could almost not have the Fonitor, but when I do pair the TT2 with the Fonitor, it, there is a really, it, it adds just that little extra je ne sais quoi. Um, really nice pairing. But I do think you don't necessarily, it's it's minimal enough to where I could easily just have the Hugo TT2 on the desk and be totally happy um, between the two. Um, a tour versus HG800, no need to AB data just for memory. What I, so instantly, the HG800 is stage and detail and imaging are king on that and it, it blows these away these are definitely doing better with the even the base these have a little bit better base or low end a little bit and way better mids for vocals for HG100 um, uh, I would say as far as like oh, those are the standout things if they're similar or not that's a different thing I would say these are not quite as similar uh, like somewhat similar, but not not there. I'd say these are probably closer to like the HD six fifties or six hundreds, but then like on steroids, these are definitely like to me what what I recall of the HD six hundred and six fifty. These remind me of that, but like exponentially better to for me. Um, how would you compare the technology? This is a clear, okay, I did that one. And how? Oh, hey, Mass Rhino. Yeah, I mean, I honestly, I think that if you, when you get the Verite, if you get the Verite opens, I don't think you'd be disappointed. Those, they're they're fantastic headphones. Yeah, CMS shop on West East Coast. <laughs> that would be nice. Um, uh, okay, one last track. We'll do that. Um, uh, 1985. Back in uh, oh, there it is. All right, so we'll do uh, this is just the main track, um, and go from there. Um, I would appreciate if CMF owners can upgrade their headphone cups. <laughs> yes, that would be interesting. It would be a. I wonder if that'd be something that you, that might be something to look into. I should I should uh, ping Zach about that. Do like some kind of cool. Maybe you could do like a proper full open back with like magnets, and then you could just swap different cups. <laughs> I don't know. That's all hypothetical. Who knows? Uh, that'd be hilarious. Oh, oh, yeah. 85X, yeah, very similar to the 800s. Yeah, this is doing fine, by the way. Um, Hakon 1985. It's busy, but not as, like, overly busy like the Baby Metal. This is easy listening. It's not as... Um, see, when I listen to music like this, I want it to be more visceral, and these aren't really giving me that visceral engagement. Um, that say like the Verte opens or the the Verte closed or even the um, uh, Aeol Aeolus Aeol Aeolus would so something you want to think about there. Um, and Vincent, I have uh, only tried these with the um, for as far as pad rolling these. I've only tried them with these currently on it, and I put on the uh, Universe per perforated pads. And they're similar enough to where I wasn't too worried about it, but they did uh, try. Let me try it. And this was 
a while before I didn't listen to these for a couple of days. Um, and I, I'd have to, I'd have to do another pad roll with them to be honest with you. Um, but it was, they, they, they kind of similar to like the way the ALS presents things like where it's, there's just slight differences where the presentation gets changed. Like, um, I want to say with the Verite open perfs, sorry, the universe perf pads, it just got, the stage got a little bit wider and the detail got, uh, or, uh, the highs got a little, a little bit better as I recall, but I can't, it's been a bit. So, um, and usually with pads, like there's differences, but you like, they're not massive swings in difference. It's just that you can pick up on them and it's a nice way to kind of almost EQ to some level. Right. Um, yeah, that might be a good one to try. Like I should, it's just tough cause man, there's so many different ZMF pads that you have to kind of just find your preference. Um, but I do think I prefer the Atour uh, Perf pads overall, though. Hey, thanks, DP. Um, I'm actually, yeah, it's already five minutes past the, the stream, so um, I think at this stage, uh, I will go ahead and let you guys go. This is actually the Hagan is not doing so bad. It's I'm, I definitely think that it's missing some of the visceral. Wow, I was talking loud. Uh, the visceralness that you'd really want with something like this, like that. Uh, or more engaging like speed and stuff like that like a clear would probably do really well with that this track specifically um but yeah um <laughs> right. uh these are so um he's actually a community member uh originally these originally these were owned by another community member at the forum forum the headphones um but these are uh jeremy's jb77 so these are uh uh his his he bought them off of uh vox from the community as well um so this wood is uh brandon these are the oh sorry uh genosis these are the base 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 wood um it's just i think it's i want to say it's just a dark stain but i it might be a dark antique antique stain um but i'm not positive on that um these are not mine these are lent to me by my friend jeremy um so this is a heads up, uh, and these are definitely some of the best looking headphones. Sorry, well, definitely one of the best headphones, looking headphones but also some of the best auteurs I've held in hand and seen in person. These are on, these are probably the best, if yeah, that I've seen, so so far. Uh, yeah, thank you guys. You guys all rock. Actually, I'm just having fun chatting about my lovely adhd experiences here <laughs> so <laughs> thanks for joining and uh uh hopefully we'll see you guys on friday with uh, marcello and i i think we're gonna do yeah i think we're, we're gonna do that marcello we'll do the uh the five tracks or top five tracks for the past like two weeks or something like that that we've listened to or something and we'll discuss those and then go into a fun little uh uh just q a and just kind of bs back and forth like we always do um yeah, it's always tough with ZMS, man. It's always I'm on the same boat. Like I, I held out over the stabilized because I some of those purples that came out were just beyond beautiful and gorgeous. Um, but I'm kind of waiting because I want to build out my ZMF stable, so I want to get the rest of the ZMS. So I decided to instead of getting another Ferte close, getting maybe eventually some of the next runs of uh, whatever next limited runs if I find one I like for some of the other headphones in the lineup. So, alrighty. Um, I guess with that, thank you everybody and cheers and have a great rest of your day and hopefully see you guys Friday with Marcello. I think we're shooting for around 6, 5 or 6 p.m. on uh, Pacific Standard Time. So um, it'll be later in the evening, Martin. So yeah, we're probably looking at 5 or 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time for Friday. So um, yeah, sorry about that for some of the wonderful and beautiful European folk uh, and also probably a little earlier for the rest of the world and vice versa or wherever you guys are at so but thank you for joining and hope everyone is uh having a great mid mid hump week hump day hump day hump day <laughs> all right <laughs> the forever goodbye i am going to hit in stream thank you everyone for joining and i'll chat with you hopefully friday with my marcello um if you haven't checked his stuff out go check out his stream uh or his channel it's uh mr uh I think, you, uh, mr hi-fi reviews um I'll, I'll have it linked in the um, stream on Friday so you guys check it out. But just check out, or if you click on his name, Mr. Hi-Fi uh, Marcello, he's fantastic. He's got some really good stuff coming out, uh, a couple of great reviews as well. So check out his stuff as well. All right, all right, and that's it. I will chat with you guys later. Enjoy. <laughs>